Question number four of the Catechism asked, How many gods are there? The answer, There is only one God. Question number five is, In how many persons does this one God exist? This is a very strange question to ask. After all, we don't ask, In how many persons do you exist? The answer is obvious. You are just one person. But you are not God. And God is unique, one of a kind. You can see this pretty clearly in the Bible book of Matthew, chapter 3. And when Jesus was baptized, immediately he went up from the water, and behold, the heavens were open to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming to rest on him. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. In this little passage, we see Jesus getting baptized. We see the Spirit of God coming down and resting on Jesus, and we hear God, Jesus' Father, as a voice from heaven. Time won't allow us to see the evidence all over the Bible, but we know that Jesus is God, we know that the Holy Spirit is God, and we know that Jesus' Father is God. So does that mean there are three gods? No, because the last question already told us. There is only one God. Instead, what we see in the Bible is that Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and the Father are three persons. It's because God is unique in this way that our question sounds so weird. In how many persons does this one God exist? The answer? In three persons. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We have a unique word to describe this unique thing about God. Trinity. It means three in one. Three phrases help us understand what Trinity means. There is one God in three distinct persons, and each person is fully God. To picture how those three things work, let's put together a diagram. First, there's one God. That God exists as three persons, God the Father, Jesus his Son, and the Holy Spirit. Each of these persons is fully God, and each of them are distinct. That means that the Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Spirit, and the Spirit is not the Father. This whole Trinity business can seem quite confusing. When it comes to ordinary people like us, one human being always equals just one person. But God is unique. There's no other being like Him who is a Trinity. Because this is so mysterious and strange, people have come up with all sorts of ways to explain what God is like. They've used water and eggs and three-leaf clovers, but all of these pictures get something wrong about God, and that's because there's really nothing to compare our triune God to. He's truly unique. Let's go back to our question one more time. In how many persons does this one God exist? In three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The word we use to describe this mystery is Trinity. There's only one God who exists in three persons. Each person is distinct, and each person is fully God.